Okay, my beautiful friends, here we go. This is my newest segment of Markets to Look Ahead. It is Sunday, December 22nd, 2019. We have a lot of stuff to cover. Um, this is going to be a good one. I want you to pay attention to this. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to carry on what I started last week. Every time I do one of these Markets to Look Ahead segments, I'm going to recommend one or two stocks that you should be looking at. Last week, I recommended Apple and Microsoft. Uh, needless to say, both of them performed exceedingly well. And uh, I'm going to recommend two more to you here today near the end of this video blog. I'm going to put a lot of things into perspective. I was I made this list this morning. I know you can't read my horrible handwriting, but I'm going to go over this with you. I'm sitting here at breakfast and I'm just jotting this stuff down that was going through my head. Um, and I think it will explain to you where we're going in this market. And I'm going to give you a little hint right now, higher. Um, nothing here is real. Nothing here is what it seems. So understanding that the mechanism in place is to um, deliberately inflate asset prices well it should make sense to you and again we'll 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 put this all together as we move forward here let's start off with this and i explained to you i think it was last week that we were going to hear more of this and it just started again yesterday the narrative is and this is the president yesterday he said a deal the deal with china is going to be signed quote very soon. Now, understand, there's no target here. It's just very soon. Understand the wording here and why it's being floated out. When the market hears this, it gets hyper. It's, it's exciting for the market. Stocks will go up higher. This is why there's no target date. If the president were to say, okay, everyone, we're going to sign a, 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 this deal on this date, the market would kind of price it in. And that would be it. By the president saying very soon, this literally gets the market a little bit high. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming soon. So this is a mechanism to push stocks higher. Believe me, the wording chosen is very specific. And you're going to hear the same wording, which we've been hearing. Larry Kudlow, same wording. Very soon. Steve Mnuchin, very soon. Understand, this is done at a round table. They, they, they discuss how they're going to play it on the market. This is a game. The whole thing is a charade and it's not real. So they sit down, they say, okay, we're going to float this out very soon. Very soon. This is enough to put a little euphoria into the market <laughs> and the market will go up. This jawboning will work. There we go. Now, let's talk about a more fundamental aspect of this, and I've been outlining this for a while now. The Federal Reserve is about to, and no, not about to, it has been increasing secretly under the table its asset purchases. Um, and this will get larger. So, in summary with this, the Fed is about to increase its asset purchases across the spectrum, the entire spectrum of the yield curve. And this is going to cover as well, or, or include, obviously, their repo operations. The Federal Reserve must increase its repo operations with the Wall Street banks. In other words, what they're doing, they're moving cash from one institution to another, back and forth, back and forth. And they're doing this to give the illusion of liquidity, I've explained this to you, and to keep the illusion of a normal yield curve slope okay without the repo operation being increased has to be increased the short end of the curve for which they're pinning down will begin to creep up they cannot allow this to happen months ago i told you we would have an inverted yield curve and we got one you saw how the market responded the market did not like it so what did they do the market is understanding that we are facing a credit freeze, period, the end. The illusion must be kept real by the passing back and forth of hundreds of billions of dollars per day, per day. 
between these banks to give the illusion of liquidity. All right, this is also suppressing the curve, just like I the short end of the curve. I explained to you exactly how this would play out at the time, at the time. So you all knew about it before, or actually at the onset. Okay, so this is going to get larger. Now I want I want to explain this to you as well. The banks are going to continue continue to be recapitalized. You're not hearing about it anymore. We were told by uh, Fed uh, President Bullard months ago that the banks are demanding more capital. Why? We're trying up. The banks must be recapitalized and they will continue to be. And you know who's doing it? You are. You are. You have no choice either. The banks are being recapitalized right under your nose. None. No, I can't say none. It was covered on CNBC about the recapitalization of the bank several months ago, but it's gone radio silent. You can't know about it. Also, again, going back to the repo operations, it's increasing. You can't know about that either, and you can't know about the fact that the Fed is buying the entire yield curve to keep it suppressed. Mechanism pushes cash into the stock market. It's, it's uh it's that simple. Now, I want you to keep your eyes on crude oil. Crude oil fell under a little bit of pressure on Friday. We may see a little more pressure moving forward, but, but people, the, the trend is up. They will not allow crude to fall. You know why. The energy sector is dependent on higher crude prices. So is the financial sector. The entire market will be lifted. So these are the mechanisms in place right now to push stocks higher into uh, record territory. Now, you understand how this works as well. The CEOs of the, these big corporations, the big wigs, their bonuses are based on stock share price. The forces in play right now will make sure that stocks go up so they will all get paid off. Again. The narrative will be put in place very soon, very soon, very soon with regard to the trade deal. This is a mechanism to push stocks higher to make sure that the CEOs get their big, fat, ugly bonuses. You understand? It's a mechanism. You don't matter. It's all about corporate America. So with that said, I think you have a very good understanding as to where stocks are going to go. Now, what I want you to do now, and I'm going to wait for you to do it, Open up another window. I want you to go to my website, traderschoice.net. I'm going to show you uh, my newest stock picks, and I'm going to cover a few other things with you. We're going to look at a chart together. You do not need to be a chartist. I just want you to see one little aspect of it so you understand what to do, how to play the game. It's that simple. So traderschoice.net, there is a link in the description of this video. If you can't find it, TradersChoice.net. All right, open up that window. I'm going to do the same. Okay, on my lovely website, this is all being redone, people. You know that very, very shortly. Um, after the new year, this is going to be completely different, and it's going to be uh, friendly for all devices. Okay, so go all the way down. Scroll, scroll, scroll all the way down. Look at where I have my stock screener, below 100% free stock screener. Now, what I want you to do at the bottom here, it says Facebook. Facebook is one of my picks I want you to look at. Now, I'm gonna, we're going to cover this in more detail in a second. Now, I want you to scroll down here on, on my uh, stock screener. I want you to look at Walmart, okay? These are two stock picks I want to cover with you, all right? So, right above my stock screener is my boom system chart. Now, if you notice here in the upper left-hand corner, it says SPY. This is the ETF that I trade all the time. This follows the S&P 500. Um, as you can see, if you look under where it says details to the right side, we still have a buy recommendation here. And... Um, that is going to prove to be true. Now, what I want you to do, where it says SPY, okay, I want you to put in, click to the right of SPY, now put in FB, enter. That's Facebook. Now, what is the boom system saying? The boom system is calling this as 
pretty strong buy here. And I don't care that it's at the top of the range. Look, let, let me let me get put this in your head. For those that don't understand how this works, when this, when stocks are at the high end of their range, <laughs> this does not mean it's going to pull back. It's bullish. You understand? Bullish. Uh, I think a lot of people think when a stock is at the high end of the range that it means it's going to pull back. I don't know where you come up with this stuff. All right, now what I want you to do again, click to the right of where it says Facebook and put in WMT. This is Walmart. Enter. What do we got? The boom system is calling this a buy as well. This is why I am recommending these two stocks here. Last week we did the same thing um, with... Um, my goodness, what did I recommend last week? Uh, Amazon, I think it was, and uh, no, I'm sorry, Apple. Apple. Um, what the hell was the other one? I, mean, I tell you, my brain's going soft. And Microsoft, and both of them took off. All right, now what I want you to do here on this chart, I want you to put in U S O. And okay, United States Oil Fund. This is still a buy here, but I would not be surprised to see uh, oil fall into a little bit of pressure. A little bit. I'm not talking about anything major here because the, 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 the trajectory is up and it will be propped up as well. There's no doubt about it. Last thing I want you to do here, okay? I want you to put in B, T, C, and then scroll down. You see all these things that came up? Bitcoin, B, T, C, U.S. dollar. Click on that. Okay, now as I've been explaining to you, if you look at details, it shows you the, the, the boom system is calling this a sell. Why? Well, it's very simple. The game remains risk on. So you're going to get pressure on metals. You're going to get pressure on cryptocurrencies. What does this mean? These, these assets are on sale. They're on sale here. Uh, and I don't give a damn where the price action goes. They're on sale right now. And even if they go lower, they'll be more on sale than they are right now. With regard to Bitcoin and gold and silver, the paper derivative market of gold and silver people is the biggest, biggest charade on the face of the earth. With regard to metals, there's no price discovery mechanism. You know that whatsoever. All right, so you, you can close out of my website. TradersChoice.net. I hope you find that kind of interesting. I hope you utilize my website. Um, and it's going to be even better soon. It's pretty damn good now. Look, it's all about this whole thing, me, my website, the information I talk about, is to allow us, you and me, to stay on the right side of this while this game is played before the world. It's that simple. We're not going to lose. I will never let you down, and I know you will never let me down. Uh, we are on the same page. We're all part of the same pride. You're all my lions, whether or not you trade this market or not. And um, we are going to win. We are going to win. We have been winning, and we're going to continue this. All right, look. So um, a lot of important stuff in this video that I covered, my lovely little list here. And, uh, by the way, that's another charity that I support, and I believe in that. Um, I, as you all know, I, I, I consider myself a, I don't even want to say this because I don't like to talk about it. I don't think people should talk about it. I think they should just do support charities that you believe in. I support several charities. One of them I also support is Animal Charities. we got to pay it forward, people. Um, believe me, if you do these things well we all benefit from it we all benefit from it so it's important I'm counting on you to find a charity or two or three whatever it might be that you believe in and support it this guy loves you from the heart please share the video I'll see you in the morning and I just can't wait